Hey guys, Desletter Magic here, and I thought I'd uh, do a quick FAQ for the things that I see most asked in the world chat on day one here of Magic Legends. First is how the heck do you fast travel? Because I pressed M, there's my fast travel points, you see them right there? By the way, page up, page down, zooms. Little, little quick tip for you there. But that's so weird, I want to fast travel, what's going on, dang it? Well, you press F1 or tab to bring up this interface, then go to the map here, I think it'll be on library by default. And uh, there you can scroll around and go, oh, let's, let's fast travel to that point I unlocked. Boom, done, just like that. Uh, people are also asking, uh, how do you unlock like custom party making? It's either a progression thing or a level thing. So you either have to finish a certain number of missions or get to a certain level. I don't think anybody has discovered which, and if they are, they're not disclosing that. So I don't have an exact answer for that, but like if I go to uh, change my deck right now, it'll say, oh, you haven't unlocked the ability to do that, so I can't save that. Uh, I think it said I need more spells. Uh, there's a couple other things where you hover over it and it says, oh, you need to progress further in this specific plane. And then next, oh my gosh, is this hitting like borderline prank levels, as I said in the last video. You don't type exclamation claim free pack or anything similar into the damn world chat. In fact, exclamation nothing is anything because why would they make a command something that's publicly visible? And then if it was a, a text-based command, wouldn't they hide it from everybody else? Anyway, what you do to claim the free pack is press tab or F1, go to the store, and right about here, there was a free pack. It says it costs zero zen. Real simple. Go get it. I think it was actually under classes and packs for the record, but uh, I don't know. Just look around. It's it's. I mean, it's pretty easy to spot the one that doesn't cost anything. Just saying. By the way, boy, this looks very pay to win just from the surface. Just saying. And also, I'm not sure if this was just part of the pack where you got to kind of claim it twice or not, but uh, it had it said two new items in my inventory. So if I click on this, it's like, oh yeah, two X mission rewards and two X uh, enemy rewards. So there you go. Uh, but that's for 30 minutes, and this is uh, for just the next mission. So if I go to claim, I think it'll activate it. But I'm about to go do a mission, so why would I not? Oh, uh, yeah, I did activate it. Name missing, description missing. <laughs> that's that's fantastic. Um, so, yeah, when you claim it, you basically activate it. But it's like, well, why would you not do it? Unless you know an upcoming mission has higher xp and you want to double a higher amount i don't know whatever i like leveling um so yeah that, that did, i confirmed that that did do that but uh yeah if you go under guide it'll tell you how how uh far you are in here and i, I bet you after three you're gonna unlock uh custom parties uh so i'm currently level four i'm about to be level five i'm 98 percent to the next level which is awesome and uh if you want to look at what the progression rewards are going to be for your particular character if you go to loadout by the way you can go to class and that'll give you a re-description of exactly what your three do if you forgot like oh yeah the fourth devotion counter summons an angel for 20 seconds well, that's what that does okay i see and then if you go to level info this is huge 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 It'll tell you at level three, you get mana surge, get three mana over six seconds to draw a spell. Very nice. And then divine blast. The third hit from my divine bolt now spreads a uh, three. So I was like, oh, is that firing three now? Oh, what's doing that? Oh, it's because I got the level four. So then you can see at level six, once I get there, angelic descent summons five four four white angel tokens with lifelink. Hello. But uh, you can look at, you know, okay, you get healing current, you get face bounty. That's level 15, level 20. You can just look ahead and uh, yeah, just in case you're curious. But uh, if you press escape, you can go to the wallet and see your uh, Aether. Yes, I know it's Aether. It's a running gag. Just deal with it. Um, you get unrefined Aether for um, just doing whatever, doing missions, doing stuff, getting rewards. And then you can turn it into refined Aether automatically, basically as soon as you change zones. And then the limit is 50,000 a day. And it looks like, unless this changes at higher levels, that's like hours of play they're just basically kind of being like hey go take a break it's actually pretty fair i'm sure you can kind of override this by getting all your credit card just saying but uh yeah it looks pretty fair so far also uh i picked up a ton of green plater mana but it didn't show up here under my wallet until i changed zones so if you're like i just picked some up where is it well, there you go. Also, they have the usual exchange. It's kind of from Neverwinter where you can exchange uh, the Aether for the Zen points so that you could buy premium stuff by just earning the normal in-game stuff. So if you just work hard enough at the game, do enough stuff, you know, you clear the missions real quick and get a ton of good rewards, you never have to buy Zen ever, which is exactly how I describe Neverwinter. In fact, uh, I was opening like a thousand loot boxes a day and I would just open a really old loot box that I had still in my bank that would return like 110%, sell the stuff for 
basically this currency and then use it to buy more of the premium currency and use that to buy more keys to open more loot boxes and it was a loop so and they didn't care i mean they didn't do anything to stop me they didn't put a limit on it so i will say as pay to win as this looks remember that you can get zen right now for aether so just fyi before people start complaining too much uh, so the, the last thing is uh, people are getting really bad frame rates with uh, 2000 and 3000 series NVIDIA cards specifically. I'm sitting here right now getting 79 FPS on a 1080 Ti with an i9 and I thought, oh, maybe it's, you know, really CPU locked and people are running like i3s or something. Uh, first of all, I doubt it. And secondly, uh, my measurements of the resources beg to differ. So what people are saying is one, download the latest NVIDIA driver. Um, that's huge. And then two... Uh, go to options and then turn it from ultra down to high or if it's on high down to medium uh, Theoretically ultra should have ray tracing turned on if the game supports it and then turning it to high would Probably make that the priority for a thing to turn off right now. It's not very granular All you get for options is uh, anti-aliasing enabled or not, which I guess you could turn it off That's not the heaviest thing in the world, but then again, there's all these grass blades. So who knows? Um, but I'm running at 1440p, getting like 79 FPS. So uh, my thinking is the only thing that could tank your frame rate that bad is a horrible CPU, a weird glitch, or RTX being turned on. So just crank it down to medium or high, you should get a very much more acceptable frame rate. People are saying even a 3070 is capable of getting like 90 FPS if you turn it down a little bit. So I don't like presets. I like doing it all granular. But uh, FYI, you should be able to open either NVIDIA Inspector as a separate program and then uh, go to like profiles and look up the game. It might be listed there, it might not. I mean, it's only been out for a day. Uh, or go to GeForce Experience and manually turn things on and off um, in the game. I think you can like set a game profile and just say, you know what? Anisotropic filtering is turned off for this game and just hard override it. Then you don't need the option to show up in the game. So you might be able to tweak it from there. I haven't had reason to do that. And I actually kind of hate GeForce Experience, so I don't currently have it installed. But in theory, you should be able to do that. And if you can't yet, just wait a week. They'll add the profile for it. Oh, and obviously, if you want the best profile for it, download the latest graphics driver. Obviously. So, uh, yeah, that's the FAQ. A quick overview. I know it was kind of just all over the place, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> It's not like I made an outline and I'm rushing this out to beat everybody else. What else is new? I mean, you know how YouTube works. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time.